Could you walk the audience through the key differences between the ear one and the ear two using these graphs? Sure. And maybe just give people a little bit of context to what the graphs mean. Totally. So I have a few of them here. You guys probably see them on the screen. What we have on the bottom is really what we're gonna pay attention to. So you see with ear two, this green line is kind of what we talked about earlier. It's kind of naturally how the human ear hears with a bit of a tilt applied. So our ears naturally have this region on both graphs that sort of elevates. That's normal to see. And you wanna get within sort of a window of that. The top line is if you took away that ear gain, if it's a flat line, it would match this bottom curve. As we get up into these higher frequencies, our hearing has a bit of a bump. So as you go up, you kind of want to see that same region go up and then back down. You want to have a little bit of your own kind of tuning preferences applied, but being somewhere in the ballpark of it is generally good. So you want to avoid big dips, big peaks, things like that. The ear one compared to ear two, it definitely falls outside of that window, but the key areas in which this was definitely improved. So we have this kind of mid-range frequency that elevates over everything else. Whereas here we have a bit more of a natural transition from like your low mids all the way up into your ear gain, which is a lot more what you want. It'll be perceived as way easier for the average person to listen to.